Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a fun little lunch tray and various uh, school food for your pets. Always ask a parent for help before starting any craft. And for this project, you'll need a hot glue gun, paper, cardboard, scissors, a ruler, craft foam paper, some markers, a bead, and a plastic straw. Okay, so let's get started. First, cut out a piece of cardboard at the desired size for your lunch tray. So this one is comparable to this lunch tray. And then here, this one is fairly bigger. Then glue to craft foam paper. Trim. Then cut out a long strip of craft foam paper that is just slightly taller than your tray. And glue around like so. When I glue with my hot glue gun, I only apply the glue to the cardboard, that way I don't have to worry about it squirting out onto my tray. Take your excess pieces and cut even slivers. Now glue your compartments, then you can just use regular glue to glue in place. Set it aside to dry. To make tiny silverware, um, in an earlier tutorial I showed you how to make silverware out of craft foam paper, but unless you have a really big tray, it's a little bit too big for the lunch trays, so instead you can make even tinier silverware just using the plastic from a straw. Take your plastic straw, but if you don't have these, you can just use a regular straw, cut off a section, cut it open, and unroll it using a dowel or a hard straw to flatten it. And if any cracking occurs, just want to use the side that doesn't have cracking. Use a mechanical pencil, no lead, to trace the shape of your silverware and cut out. The forks can be a little bit tricky, so I just wanted to show you how I do it. So once you have your basic shape, I just cut three little slivers. So just tiny little triangles that I've cut. Make your milk carton out of paper. Draw four vertical lines on your paper that are the same size. Then draw an additional line for your tab. Draw four horizontal lines. So this isn't exactly precise, but your top row is going to be your shortest row. Your second row will be a little bit taller. Your third row is the tallest, as that's the actual body of your milk carton. And then the fourth row is simply the bottom, so you just want enough room to cover the bottom. Draw a triangle on your first and third row. Fold your columns along your vertical line. Cut out the triangle sections. Cut along the bottom. Remove this portion. Remove this section of the tab. Fold your final two lines forward. Fold your bottom pieces up. Now you can begin closing your milk carton with your tab on the inside. Pull your tab. Pull your bottom pieces. Fold in your two triangles and just glue the tips together. Then glue your top pieces. And I'm just going to trim the top because I didn't line mine up perfectly. And then decorate if you like. To make a salad bowl, take your white craft foam paper and a chapstick lid, cut out, and take a bead, push as hard as you can, twisting if need be, carefully lift the bead and craft foam, and begin shaping your bowl by wrapping your craft foam around your bead pulling as tightly as you can. Remove your bead. You want there to be an indentation on the back, so if you don't have that, place your bead back in your bowl and push even harder. 
or make a styrofoam plate by cutting out a section from a styrofoam plate, cutting it into the shape of a circle, and taking a chapstick and pressing down in the middle again as hard as you possibly can, twisting, and you can move your chapstick up and down to get your indentations. So you might find that one area is uh, deeper than another. If so, then you place your chapstick back on that circle and you can lean your chapstick in the direction that you want to be more uh, dented in. You can make your indentation even more intense by then removing the lid, putting it open side down, and pressing and twisting with all your might. Finally, to make food, obviously there's tons of school food that you can make. Today I'm going to make french fries, chicken nuggets, apples, and a salad. Um, if you have additional requests, let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to get to them. For the chicken nuggets, cut out a section of orange crackling paper, and then I color it with my brown marker and quickly smear it. You could also use watered down brown paint. For the french fries, either cut out sections from a yellow loom band or just use craft foam paper. To make your apples, use a hole punch or just cut out a circle from your white craft foam paper. Cut it in half. Take a lime green marker, or if you want red apples, you could do red, and then just color the outside core. Make ketchup and mustard bottles using red and yellow paper and a toothpick. Cut your toothpick to the appropriate size. Roll your paper along your toothpick as tightly as you can, giving just a little bit of room along the top so you're not rolling it perfectly straight so that you have this tiered thing going on here. Pull your paper shut, pull the tip, red or yellow, cut your bottom so that it's completely straight color it with marker or glue a piece of red paper along the bottom. And finally you can seal it with Mod Podge for an effect like this. And finally for the salad, use lime green craft foam paper for your lettuce. Cut to an irregular shape. Then take a thin popsicle stick or a ruler and make lines in it to give it definition. For your spinach, take a darker green and then just cut out Carrot slivers with orange craft foam paper. Super easy. Cheese with yellow. If your school's fancy and has blue cheese crumbles, you can just take white craft foam paper and use a little blue pen to make marks in it. For your croutons, cut out little squares of white craft foam paper. Then use watered down brown paint or a marker, again, just smearing the color to create your croutons. Make a cucumber by cutting out a circle of white craft foam paper using either a hole punch, or you can wing it and draw it yourself. You can use a dark green marker and color the outer section. Use your mechanical pencil and a lead to make little seed marks. And use your lime green marker to color the center. And finally, again using your tiny hole punch, cut out cherry tomatoes from red craft foam paper. If you have red ribbed loom bands, I don't have any red ones, I don't know if they exist, but if you have them, you could also cut those off to make your little red cherry tomatoes. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, check Rainbow Tinkle out on Facebook, and be sure to tune in for my next project. Thanks so much guys. Bye!